Hey everyone, welcome back to Vlogmas. This is my first update for my 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan. 12 Pans of Christmas Project Pan was started by Jacqueline Levine that I will link her channel up down below. It is just about picking 12 items to pan in the run up to Christmas to obviously signify the 12 days of Christmas. I filmed my intro for this last month. I believe that will have been the first video of Vlogmas. It's so strange because I'm filming these ahead of time. And yeah, let's get straight into how much progress I have made on these products. First up we have got the Kiehl's Eye Alert. In the last update this was 12 grams, today it is 11 grams so I've used approximately one gram of product. Obviously this is measured in milliliters or fluid ounces. Fluid ounces and normal ounces are not quite the same so the gram thing is not exactly the same either as a milliliter kind of thing, like American measuring things and UK measuring things. So it's, it's just a guideline because obviously I can't really see how much product I am using here but I, I do think like there's still plenty coming out, there's definitely still product in here eh, but I'm not at all worried about finishing up this up within the project. It might even be cut open by the next update, we shall see. At the moment it's still coming out alright but yeah. I absolutely think I'll finish this within the project so not worried at all. Another product that I got one gram of movement on is the Benefit Puff Off. This started at 13 grams in the intro, it's now at 12 grams and obviously these grams include the packaging and um, it's not just product. I can kind of see through this packaging now and it does look like I'm down to maybe just about here in terms of product to use up so again I'm not too worried and I think I will get this used up by the end of the project. This and the primer that I've got in this project I think are more like, like I wouldn't wear this every day. It's a, it's an under eye primer and I would maybe wear it if I was like, I, put, I used it today because I'm filming and I would maybe use it if I was going on a night out or something. So I thought it would be an appropriate product for the project in terms of like for using on Christmas nights out and things. So I wasn't expecting to make that much progress on this at the start but yeah, I do think I'll finish it within the project as planned. The primer was this one from Estee Lauder. It's their Spotlight Skin Tone Perfector. I did say in the intro this is so old that I don't want to put it on my face anymore. So I'm planning to use this up by like using it on my legs or my chest or whatever if I'm going on any nights out. Now I did use it once like that. I used it, um, it was my friend's birthday dinner and I was wearing not a super low cut dress, but a dress that was a little bit lower cut. I did use some of it on my chest that night. However, there has been no actual change in the grammage. So this was 28 grams at the introduction and it's 28 grams now. But as I say, I think maybe as more kind of nights out start happening and things ramp up a little bit if they're going to. If things are a bit more normal, I will hopefully get more use out of this. If not, I mean I might just be running around my house with super shiny limbs for the sake of using it up because I do want to use it up and get it out of my collection and that is going to happen within this project but I would like it to happen so that I can have shiny limbs on times when I'm going out, not just for the benefit of me in my house. I put this hand cream in and it was brand new and it was weighing in at 31 grams. This is now down to 9 grams and as I said the, the weight obviously includes the packaging. There's a little bit left in this but this is so nearly done. I didn't realise when I put this in because I hadn't used it before, I just kind of thought it was a hand cream as standard but it was actually a hand gel cream so it was just a really thin formula, really really watery. I've just gone through it so much more quickly than I would have done if it was like the standard L'Occitane hand cream. So this will be finished by the next update. This will probably be finished within a number of days. I am actually rolling another hand cream into the project which is this one from Otto. This currently weighs 36 grams. It's brand new. I just got it last month in a goodie bag that I got. So 36 grams, brand new and that will go in to replace the L'Occitane one that is basically finished already. This is a hand balm so I expect this to be much more difficult to actually get through. Speaking of balms, I've got the Pixi Vitamin C Caviar Balm as they call it and it's their Vitamin C face mask. At the intro this had 48 grams total weight and it's now got 40 grams total weight so we used up 8 grams of product. No idea what that really translates to in terms of milliliters so there's 45 milliliters in here or there was at the start so I'm hoping like 15 milliliters each month should be kind of doable. I've used it like once a week so yeah 
I can't really feel much of a difference but I'm sure consistently using it it'll get used up and I'm enjoying using it so I'm not in a rush to get it out and anything but I would like to use it up by the end of the project so we will make sure that happens. Those were all my weighing products which I know are not quite as satisfying to watch to get on to the ones where it's more of a visual difference. I've got my Oscar, no I don't, I've got my Omra Vitsa, Queen of Hungry Mist and as you can see in the back I've used a fair amount of this. I'm really quite pleased with how much of this I've used and the thing is so if you look really closely at this bottle the bottom is actually like like the liquid doesn't go all the way to the bottom there's like one of those sort of frosted glass thick bottoms which takes you to maybe about here so I think I've actually used not quite half of what was there from the intro but maybe like a third so I am quite hopeful of finishing this within the project I feel like my progress on certain things will slow down next month because I'm going to be working from home for a lot of November which will be last month in real time when you're watching this but next month for me in terms of filming it I have been using this because it's been sitting in my desk and I've just been picking it up and kind of lunchtime spritzing and then spritzing again before I go home. I feel like if I'm working from home I probably won't use things just because they're sitting on my desk because I've done As you can see, still, still redecorating this room. Hopefully by the time this is uploaded there's been a bit more movement than there is at the moment. Um, so I actually, I don't have a desk. I will be kind of makeshifting I don't even know when I'm going to work in the living room somewhere whilst I'm working from home so I'm not going to go through products quite as simply as I've gone through them in the last month because I won't just be sitting looking at them all day so it might slow down next month but I'm hopeful even if it does that I'll still get it finished within the project. Something I might actually make more progress on next month is my Kiehl's hair oil. So the first week of the project I used this as I usually would in my hair when it was wet after washing it before I dried it and it made so little difference that I was a bit like oh no we're not getting through this if we only use it that way. So what I started doing was putting it through my hair the night before I was washing it, day before I was washing it, putting it through the ends of my hair and then tying my hair up. My hair feels really really soft and conditioned so it's, it's benefited from that but I feel like because I am going to be working from home I might not care so much if my hair looks a bit greasy so I might actually do that a little more often next month. So we might see more progress on this next month because it will be working from home even if other things maybe slow down for the next update so we'll see where we are but yeah if I use the same for the next month as I did last month there would be less than that left again for December so I feel like I'm actually feeling okay I think we'll get this finished within the project so I will be pleased to finish this because I've got I think two other hair oils to use and I don't use a lot of hair oil um because I've got quite fine hair so I feel like if I don't make a conscious effort to use them they could last for hundred years so it'll be nice to just get one used up in full and moved out. Something that will definitely be finished by the end of the project is my Jo Malone tobacco and mandarin cologne. As I say I love these bottles so I don't want to mark them because I want to use them for display purposes once the product is finished but you'll be able to see from the last update versus this update there's definitely been good use on it. It's now down basically nearly at the wording that's on the back of the bottle so this will definitely be finished by the end of December. Again I might slow down in this one next month because I just I've got quite a lot of sample perfumes so especially if I'm traveling that little bit it might just be I'd quite like to just get all those sort of minis of like one mil and two mil samples worked through because they do sort of they add up and they kick about and whatever so I'd quite like to get them used out um, but I'm not worried I think I'll be able to get them all used up and still finish this by the end of December so maybe we'll slow down next month but it'll definitely be finished by my December update. This has now been lying on its side but this is my Colourpop lip oil and I'm really pleased with how much I've used. I might even finish this by the next update. I don't love this I have to say. I feel like it feels like it's doing something when it's on my lips and then my lips feel drier for having used it once it wears off. So I do prefer just a traditional lip balm. It is quite a thin formula so I'm going through it really quite quickly as you can see from these markings. And again if I'm working from home, although I do, I have my lipstick in my actual main project pan that I really want to finish ASAP so maybe not but yeah I might finish this by the next update we'll see how it goes if not it will definitely be finished by the end of the project so I am pleased with my progress on that I feel like 
this is another thing that if I hadn't put it in the project it would have just existed in my collection for so long so I'm really really glad to be getting the use out of it. We'll be able to get rid of it before it's actually expired which I think will be potentially a first for anything that wasn't skincare in my collection which is very exciting. I have got two makeup items in this project so the first is my Benefit concealer and I have made really good progress on this. I was hoping to hit side pan which I have managed to do very excitingly. Also the actual pan itself has widened just massively in general so I'm hoping by the next update so where that side pan is here to also like the equivalent spot on the other side have used all this product and then only have the bottom half remaining for going into December so that is a plan but yeah I think I'll use this up within the project which is so exciting. I have got an eyeshadow as well and I have been using this really consistently so I had warm top in my main project pan from the ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I was using that through the crease and this on the lid and I did that basically every day at work so this has had approximately 20 uses and I do think it's changed. I can definitely see that this so I've been using this side with a sort of flat brush and there's definitely a, a change to me um, and to my eye in this product so I've not hit pan yet but hopefully we'll get a pan before the end of the project pleased with the visual change that we've got though and then the last product was my sort of two for one in my 12 pans of Christmas so the first is the body oil and um, so I had to actually peel the label off because I'd marked this really stupidly right above the label but it just peeled off no problem so there was the first mark and as you can see we are down to here. I need to use it a lot more if I want to actually finish it within the project. Whether I'm going to do that I don't know. We shall see. As I say though maybe again working from home if I don't have the travel to and from work I might be more inclined to like spend the time at night kind of moisturising myself whereas I feel like it's something I do sort of once or twice a week now so yeah maybe maybe my November working from home situation will make me get more use out of this product so we shall see and I also have the corresponding shower gel but as I say because I only really think to use the body oil maybe once or twice a week I'm not going through the shower gel that matches it and yeah I would like to be going through it. We used more of it this month than I would have used had it not been in the project. There is no way I'm finishing this within the project unless I use it a hell of a lot more than I've used it last month but yeah I do I enjoy using it it just something about a decadent shower oil I don't know I can't quite bring myself to make it my everyday washing product I don't think I'm going to finish this within the project but I feel like I'll make more progress on it than I would have made had I not put it in the project so I'm glad it's in here and those are my 13 items that are in my 12 pans of Christmas the the shower oil is a kind of unofficial one so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you in my next video bye